There's a genre of dystopianism which is with us now and is pretty common. We read them in our grade schools and our children read them and we read them as novels. Uh, dystopian literature as we understand it, meaning you take the idea of a utopia and turn that on its head so it looks like good is actually bad, uh, is a genre that was born in Russia during the Russian Civil War. And it was written, the first one was written by Yevgeny Zamyatin, who was a, a Russian novelist. Actually, he was a naval engineer. And he used rationality and numbers to show the perfect order of society, uh, which to him was nightmarish. Now, we read it mostly because we think it's really about Soviet Russia, uh, that this is really a commentary on communism. But Zamyatin actually f wrote his first dystopia about England. Uh, and in England, he was uh, a naval engineer during the Great War, meaning World War I. And uh, he arrived, and you can understand how he felt, arriving in Newcastle, England, where he would see identical townhouses with identical people, dressed in identical manners with the identical number of children, leaving at identical times and coming home at identical times. And to him, this was both tragic and, 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 and comical. Uh, and he wrote his first little dystopia, a, a, a little novella called The Islanders, uh, which was about Newcastle, England, not about Russia. He came to Russia, and what he saw in Russia was not so much the evils of communism, but the dangers of modern society in general, the mass rationalized society. So Zamyatin is a good bridge between the dystopia that many people think we live in today and the dystopia that we use to characterize the Soviet Union.